Today, I'm going to show you what the new 2023 STAR Reading Online Test with new item types will look like in fourth grade. As you know, the STAR test is changing. In 2023, all students will take their Reading STAR test online. Many of the questions and how they are formatted will look different from past tests. To help you become more familiar with the new format, I will be working through one passage from the fourth grade online sampler of new question types found on the TEA website. Angela here from Custom Classroom, helping make test prep simple. To begin, go to the TEA website where the sampler questions are. I have the link in the description and click sign in. For the video today, I will be looking at fourth grade. We're going to look at the fourth grade reading new item types. So we're going to select and begin the test. So here's what the new online test will look like in fourth grade. Um, you're going to see some different features that the students can use. So I recommend kind of logging in and looking around so you can get an idea of what your students have um, as a resource for when they're doing their reading strategies. I'm going to actually skip to the next passage and look at its questions. So I'm going to skip through here and go to the drama. And for the purpose of this video, I will be reading the passage and going over the questions so you can see what the new item type questions look like, as well as what answers are being looked for, the point value, and the corresponding teak that they connect to. So let's look at the passage. Read the selection and choose the best answer to each question. The spelling test. Characters. Narrator. Herbie Jones. Miss Pinkham. Mr. Jones. Olivia Jones. Annabelle Louisa Hodgkiss. Setting. Miss Pinkham's third grade class, Herbie's house. Time. One week in March. Miss Pinkham. As a special bonus this week, I have a challenge for the whole class. If you can learn to spell your name, address, town, state, and zip code correctly, I will mail you a postcard saying congratulations. Herbie, hmm, I know I don't usually study my spelling words, but gee, this postcard would be good news for my dad to find in the mail. Narrator, Herbie's dad works the night shift at the airplane factory, and the first thing he does when he gets up around 2 p.m. is look at the mailbox. Herbie, I can hear him now. Mr. Jones, bills, 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 there's nothing but bills. Herbie, I can do something about that. Narrator, as soon as Herbie got home that afternoon, he practiced writing his spelling words on the dusty coffee table. His sister Olivia was shocked. Olivia, what are you doing? Herbie, studying. Olivia, studying, since when? Herbie, since I got my spelling list. How do you study spelling? Olivia, you're asking my advice about something? Herbie. Well, you better make better well, you do make better grades than I do, Olivia. Well, Herbie, I write down I write the words down. Herbie, yeah? Olivia. And I say them to myself. That's about it. No biggie. Herbie. What if you have a tough word like taught? You keep getting the A and the U mixed up, and I never remember which one comes first. The same thing happens with the O and the U in pound. Olivia. Oh, in that case, I think of something like apes uses radishes or for the A-U-R in taught or and O unicorn for the O-U in pound. Herbie. Apes and radishes, O unicorn. Why didn't I think of that? Narrator. That week, Herbie carried his spelling list with him wherever he went. He practiced writing his words on paper on the frosty car window on his mother's meatloaf before it went in the oven and in the gravel on the school playground. At 11 a.m. on Friday, Miss Pinkham passed out the white lined paper. Miss Pinkham, put your name and date in the first highway. Narrator, Miss Pinkham always referred to the blue lines on the paper as highways. When Annabelle Louise Hotchkiss finished writing her name and the date neatly, she sat back in her chair. Annabelle, I didn't even have to study. These words are a cinch. Miss Pinkham, boys and girls, those of you who want to try for the spelling bonus may do so now. Write your full name, address, town, state, and zip code. Narrator, very carefully, Herbie printed his street address. 
When he came to the zip code, Herbie was in trouble. Herbie, 0679. What was the last number of the zip code? Pass your papers in, please. Herbie, what is that number? Miss Pinkham, Herbie, you are keeping the entire class. Herbie, 0679. Miss Pinkham, Herbie Jones, if you don't hand me your paper by the time I count to three, Herbie, three, that's it. Narrator, Annabelle raised her hand. Annabelle, Miss Pinkham, I can't wait to get my postcard in the mail tomorrow. Can't you tell us now who got 100%? Miss Pinkham, looking through the stack of papers, I wonder if anyone got 100%. Narrator, Saturday afternoon, Herbie sat on his porch and waited and watched for the mail. Herbie, is that him coming around the corner? It is, it's the mailman. Narrator, Herbie raced into the house and grabbed a book off the coffee table. Miss Jones, who had just shaved mr jones who had just shaved walked toward the door herbie looked up and noticed he still had some soap around his ears herbie morning dad mr jones good morning herbie nice to see you reading i guess i better check the mail let's see what's in this mess whistleman's department store occupant hey herbie herbie hopeful yeah mr jones you got a postcard your teacher said you were the only student to get 100 percent on your spelling bonus Herbie, Yahoo, Mr. Jones. That's the best news I've found in the mail in a long time. Narrator, Monday morning, right after the Pledge of Allegiance, Miss Pinkham asked. Miss Pinkham, will the one person who received the only postcard please rise? Narrator, everyone looked at Annabelle. Annabelle, I, I forgot to capitalize Connecticut. All, who got the postcard? Herbie stands up and raises his hand. Me, all, Herbie Jones, Miss Pinkham. Herbie's paper on Friday was outstanding. I think you should give him a big round of applause for his achievement. All clap. Okay, so let's look at the questions here. Question five is a multi-part question. This question has two parts. First, answer part A, then answer part B. Part A, in lines three through eight, the details about Mr. Jones checking the mailbox support the key idea that he looks forward to receiving the mail each day. That's not true. He doesn't look forward to it. Uh, he feels annoyed by receiving unwanted mail. Um, yes, that's probably it. He wants Herbie to check the mail every day. No, it's he always checks it. He feels confident that the mailbox is empty. No, so he doesn't like receiving the bills or he's annoyed. Part B, which detail from the play best supports the answer in part A? So here on a part B, you're going to... Um, usually find a line or text directly from the passage that's gonna support your answer above. So here we're looking for something that supports the idea that he feels annoyed in receiving the unwanted mail. Ms. Pinkham explained how to receive a postcard. It has nothing to do with that. Mr. Jones checks the mailbox every at 2 p.m. every day. That also doesn't explain it. Mr. Jones complains about receiving bells. Well, complaining would make you think he is annoyed and Herbie decides he wants a postcard in the mail. No, so the answer choice is C here. So this question is worth two points. Um, it is a key ideas, or also could be called main ideas question. It's 4.6G. All right, let's look at question six. Read the question carefully, then enter your answer in the box provided. Why are lines 27 through 34 important to the plot of the play? Support your answer with evidence from the play. So here this question is a short constructed response, which is one way that uh, writing will be added into the reading test. And we're looking at the lines kind of here in the middle where he's looking, he's trying to fill in his address. Um, he's forgetting the last digit. So how are these lines important to the plot? Here's an example of an uh, answer that they might be looking for. Lines 27 through 34 explain how Herbie solves the problem of forgetting his zip code when he's running out of time on the spelling test. By using Mrs. Pinkham's countdown in line 34, Herbie remembers the number three, which allows him to get a perfect score on the test. So this question is worth two points and it is about plot and that is 4.8C. All right, let's look at question seven. In lines 40 through 50, 
which line best expresses a theme of the play. So here is a hot text question, which is a new feature of the online test where students will be given a portion of the text or passage and they will then highlight what is the best way to support what they're looking for. So here we're looking for the theme of the play. So is it um, morning, Herbie, nice to see you reading. Guess I better check on the mail. Starts groaning, let's see what's in this mess. Whistleman's department store occupancy. Hey, Herbie. Or let's look at the next line. You got a postcard. Your teacher said you were the only student to get 100% on your spelling bonus. That's the best news I found in the mail in a long time. Will the one person who received the only postcard please rise? So here, the best um, support for a possible theme in the story is, says Mr. Jones, you got a postcard. Your teacher said you were the only student to get 100% on your spelling bonus. So here, um, this line is expressing a theme of the play, which is... Um, you know, his kind of his hard work has paid off. He gets this postcard. He's the only one that receives the um, bonus. That's 100. That's score to 100. All right. So this question is worth one point. It is theme, which is 4.8a. All right. Question number eight. What are the most likely reasons the stage directions in line 42 and 43 are included? So here we're looking back in 42 and 43, and that's where he's groaning or Herbie's being hopeful. So we're looking for two correct answers. So that makes it a multi-select. To make the play humorous. No, I don't think so. To create suspense. Yes, because we're kind of waiting to see how he did or if he got the letter. To show a new problem. No, there's no problem. To introduce a new character. No new character to express the character's feelings. Yes, so you kind of can see how they each feel. Um, Mr. Jones not looking forward to the mail and Herbie being um, wondering what's gonna happen. So this, these are the two correct answers for number eight. This is worth two points. And this is specific to dramas. So that is 4.9C. All right, question number nine. Read the play, the spelling test. Based on the information in the play, write a response for the, to the following. Explain how Herbie's behavior changes and how this is developed by the playwright. Write a well-organized informational essay that uses specific evidence from the play to support your answer. Remember to clearly state your central idea, organize your writing, develop your ideas in detail, use evidence from the selection in your response, Use correct spelling, capitalization, punctuation, and grammar. Manage your time carefully so that you can review the selection, plan your response, write your response, revise and edit your response. Write your response in the box provided. So here is an example of an extended constructed response. This is um, a way that writing is now gonna be included in the new reading language arts test for STAR Online. Um, when answering this question, it is worth five points. Um, what they will be looking for is a response involving the students explaining that Herbie begins to study for his spelling test so that his dad can receive a postcard from Herbie's teacher. The student would need to provide thorough evidence from the ex excerpt and explain how this idea is developed. Um, and so this question is uh, 4.7b which is a written response to a literary or informational text that demonstrates an understanding of the text. So here are a couple examples of what some of the new item types and the online test will look like for the STAR fourth grade reading language arts. If you are looking to help your students prepare for the new item types, check out my new STAR warm up. The link can be found in the description. I hope you found this video helpful Check out the playlist to learn more about other grade levels.